top five. I know everyone else has did a top 10 uh, pickups of 2020, but I'm going to do a top five. Um, 2021, I'm going to try to be more consistent with videos, try to put out a video at least once a week if I can. Just depends. I don't always be picking up sneakers, but I do be picking up a lot of like jerseys and clothes and stuff. So maybe I'll do stuff like that or mall blogs or something. I don't know yet, but let's get into the video. All right, coming in at number five is going to be the infrared. I know they start calling it radiant red, but I know it's infrared. It's actually my favorite Air Max, and I love that Nike has come back with the Recraft series this year. So yeah, definitely copped a cup few colors. This is actually my most worn sneaker this year. And then I got the Tiffany, and then my favorite is the Volt. But yeah, number five is going to be the infrareds. All right, coming in at number four is going to be the Reebok Question, uh, the Red Toe, or the Red Sway Toe. Um, I was actually happy to pick this up. I had the Pearlized Toe, but the quality on those was just bad. I don't know, I didn't like those, and I didn't like the way they fit. But I uh, definitely was happy to pick these back up this year. Um, yep, coming in at number four. All right, coming in at number three is going to be the Neon. Uh, these kind of gave me some trouble this year, but I ended up finding the pair. Um, at Kicks Lounge, so shout out to them. Um, yep, this is my actually my favorite Air Max. I mean, I like other Air Max, but this is actually my favorite like colorway. I don't know why. I've always liked this color, so I was definitely happy to finally have a second pair of these. But yeah, coming in at number three, the Air Max Neon. All right, coming in at number two is going to be the Alternate Grape Vibes. Um, yeah, um, definitely was going crazy for these. Um, Great Five is actually like my top mm, five Jordans of all time. But I don't know, the really like these, um, me and my son sit here arguing about, is this better than the OG? I mean, the quality is better, I would say that, because that 2000, what was it, 11? That pair, the leather is stiff as hell, but still a love to shoot them. But yeah, coming in number two, Great fives. All right, and coming in at number one is going to be the Flint 13. <laughs> the reason why this shoe is, I've been wanting this shoe since like 2000 and, how old did it come out, 2010? Yeah, 2010. So I had a chance to get those. But um, actually, the biggest reason is I bought these early, did my first video for YouTube with them, pair was fake. So lesson learned, don't buy shoes early. But finally ended up getting a pair from Hibbets, and then I got a second pair at Finish Line. So yeah, do not buy shoes early. I don't care if a dude say he connected or whatever, do not buy shoes early. So yep, yeah, coming in number one, the Flints. I did forget to do uh, two honorable mentions, the DMP6, and then the Uptempo US Olympic pair. And uh, Mitchell and Ness did just drop those jerseys, too, from this uh, Dream Team, too. So I'm going to be copping that soon. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and give me a follow on Instagram.